Hey you guys, welcome back for another video. I am coming to you from the floor of my bathroom um, because we're going to be talking about hair products and the toxicity in hair products. So if you've been around my channel for any amount of time, you may or may not know that I used to be a professional hairdresser for 10 years. And then after I had my kiddos, I slowly dwindled down and now I just do a little bit of hair for my family and friends in my home and some clients in their home from time to time. So I'm no longer actively in the salon, but the the salon culture and the products and doing people's hair is still very much um, in my life. And so as I've been doing this journey of becoming more simplified in my life, um, trying to get chemicals out of my home to live the healthiest and happiest life that I can, I was just super duper shocked at how toxic um, the everyday products that I was promoting to my clients are and I'm just gonna say it first and foremost I am terribly sorry if I if I truly knew how terrible the toxicity of the shampoos the conditioners the styling products and things I was recommending to my clients and friends and family um, I would have never ever done that and so I just want to educate others and to help others as much as I can um, to just help you guys be aware of what you're bringing into your home, what are you buying, um, what are you exposing yourself and your family to. So we're all on our own journey. Everyone's at a different portion of their health journey. Um, and so you may not even be anywhere near, you know, as far as far along as I am in getting toxic things out of your home, or maybe you're even farther or you're just starting. So this is just purely educational, encouraging, and just so you guys can be aware and make the best choice that you possibly can. All right, before I get into all of the products that I own, which is way too many, I just want to let you know what I'm using to get my information from. I'm using the Yucca app. It is a yearly subscription app that um, can range in price. When I got it about a year ago, there was a sliding scale to where you can pay like a minimum amount a year to support the app, or you can slide it up and pay a maximum amount um, a year for the app, but it is fabulous. You can do it for hair products, face products, bathroom, uh, cleaning props, all sorts of things. And it's going to give you a rating from zero to 100. Zero being horrible, super duper toxic, like stay away. Um, and then 100 being perfect and super safe to use. What I also like about the app is that it gives you other recommendations that are less toxic within whatever product you are researching. So that's really good. And also, it's going to tell you um, the scientific studies that back up why these specific chemicals are terrible for you. So then you can literally click the article and you can read the scientific studies. So I really like that it's all backed up that way. In, under my sink here, and I'm gonna pull out every single hair product. Some of them are professional, some are not. Um, and we're just gonna go through and see how toxic these products are. Now. My hope is to help you and, of course, continue on my journey to simplify my life. There should be no reason why you have 50, 25, 50 hair products, shampoos, whatever, under your sink. I think we can all agree upon, we don't want to throw things away because we, like, we, what if we might use this? What if we might use this? But the chances are, is you're not going to use it in a timely manner. Um, and that you, we all have our go-to things, right? We have our go-to hair products. We have our go-to makeup. Um, and things just get old. They get expired. And to just, we need to just stop coveting things that we just don't need. So I hope this video will help you in that as well as help you be as healthy as possible. So let's pull out all these products. Alright, 
So I'm going to open up my app. I am going to start scanning. So what I would like you to consider is that the products that I use, they're not all 100 out of a 100 perfect score. I am doing my very, very best to get the score as high as possible and as toxic free as possible. So that's what I'm going to encourage you to do is if you have a product that's literally a zero out of a hundred, which you will have those products, I've had those products, um, just choose something that's going to fall in the same category, but it's just going to be less toxic. So we're going to start with shampoos and conditioners. So I have here a I actually did, I totally forgot this was on the back of my thing. This thing is wicked old. But, so we have some Redken All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner. And so, even if the product's old, it still registers in the app. So we're gonna scan and see Redken All Soft. It has a bad score of 23 out of 100. So when you see that, you're gonna see it at the top. It has a red dot. 23 out of 100, and then it's going to list all the ingredients, um, and then it's going to, as you scroll down, it's going to have recommendations that are better, and so they're recommending Shea Moisture and things like that, which I do have those, but I'm just going to click on the first ingredient that says moderate risk. It's a crazy long word that I'm not going to be able to um, read, but it says indicate toxic effects on your blood and liver, and it's also suspected to have effects on your hormones and fertility. And that's what you're gonna see over and over again in these products, is we just live in a world now where infertility is just rampant, and um, people's hormones and everything are just really, really jacked up and there's autoimmune diseases and all sorts of things. These things that we are introducing into our homes are responsible. So the conditioner is 37 out of 100. It is has a very poor rating. Um, another shampoo I have is So Silver by Matrix. Um, this is a purple shampoo. So when I used to have blonde hair and I didn't want it to turn yellow, I would use this. This product's actually unknown, but I'm going to assume it's probably not very good. Um, if you have curly hair, I tried this product, um, the Curl Smith uh, Wash and Scrub, as well with the conditioner. Um, I used almost all of this before I got this app, and I was really sad that it's only 37 out of 100. Messes with your hormones, messes with your fertility um, and your liver the conditioner, even worse, 27 out of 100. And then let's see, what are some other, here. This is my alternative to using the professional products. Just because you're going to a salon and you, and, this, and the products work, right? That's the problem. Like you're going to the salon, you're using the, the special color shampoo, you're using the styling products and they make your hair look great. I can appreciate that. I was a stylist for years. You don't want your hair looking like garbage. Today, I literally got out of the shower and just kind of scrunched my hair. This is just what it is naturally with no products. Um, you can find better alternatives for your health that still have the same that still have the same result, volume, whatever. So Shea Moisture is what my kids and I use, and this is a really good one. They come in all sorts of different kinds of shampoos and conditioners, but I will say not all Shea Moisture, um, I usually get it at like Walmart or something, not all Shea Moisture is created equal. So make sure you're still scanning these bottles with the app when you're at the store. So this one, Curl Glam Conditioner, is 86 out of 100 and it's really good. And the ingredients on it have low risk of, um, have low risk of side effects. Usually it's like people are allergic to those things. So you may like get a rash or something, but it's not gonna mess with your hormones. Um, that was the conditioner, the shampoo, 86 out of 100. And then this is just daily hydration conditioner. This is 86 out of 100. So that's what I currently use as well as my girls. I'm trying out a bar, like a puck shampoo and conditioner right now. And um, once, 
I really get a feel of how I like it on my hair and the kids and stuff, I'll give a review on that. But until then, I'm not gonna do that. So that is all the shampoo and conditioners that I currently own. So please take in consideration how toxic your shampoo and conditioner really is. Next up, I have leave-in conditioner. I have two. I have this Rosemary Repel Conditioning Spray um, from Fairy Tales. I bought this. It's, it's an old bottle, but I bought this mostly for my kids, tea tree oil, rosemary. It says lice prevention, but I know from a homeopathic and natural way of living, um, citronella, rosemary, tea tree, bugs hate that smell. So we just use this all year long. Um, when like we're camping and the, or the kids are playing in the woods a lot to try to keep ticks away and other bugs out of their hair, not because they actually have lice. And the other one I spend decent money on, the Pureology uh, f Color Fanatic. Um, it's just a leave-in before you blow dry, things like that. Again, I wish I had the app before I bought this because this is almost a full bottle and when I, I should have, I wish I had the app before I bought it again because this is really expensive and I refuse to use it now. So this leave-in conditioner by Pureology, it's a very popular one. It is a zero out of 100, you guys. And the very first ingredient, BTH, is hazardous, all in red. So let's look that up. Demonstrated endocrine disruptive effects, particularly on thyroid function. So it's gonna mess up your thyroid function. May have effects on sex hormones and may affect fertility and development. Um, and then some cases of allergies and irritations have been found, uh, but those are rare. And then they give you the resources at the bottom and those are clickable links that you can click on and then read the actual scientific studies that were done on this. So do not buy Pureology leave-in stuff. And then for this, for my kids that I use, this bottle is actually a couple years old. It's probably pretty bad now. It's 72 out of 100. It has a good rating. I wish it was a little bit better, but again, you kind of have to pick and choose. Am I going to use a zero product or am I going to use a 72 out of 100 product? So again, just use your, just use your common sense in what you want to do. And then next I have Heat Protecting Blowout Jelly by um, Redken Big Blowout. I bought this at the same time as I bought this before I had my app and um, Again, I really wish you didn't because professional products are really expensive and I'm coming to learn that the professional products are the worst ones to have. And so let's do this blowout jelly. It is a 24 out of 100 bad rating with a big red thing. Let's just look up this first ingredient. It's a mineral oil, refining oil process. Um, is prohibited in food products, but allowed in cosmetics. Um, it acts as a genotoxic carcinogen, which promotes the development of cancers and damage to your DNA, okay? There's a lot of this particular product in all sorts of things. So again, please, cancer-causing, hormone-disrupting, infertility, uh, thyroid issues, this all just causes autoimmune diseases. And I'm not trying to scare you guys and be like, oh my gosh, I could never use anything on my hair ever again. That is definitely not the case. It's just be aware of what's really in your product and don't be afraid to actually pay for an app that is good. Great things are worth paying for. So um, if your health is important to you, paying for a, an app at a yearly subscription, like you probably pay for like five or six different television streaming apps, right? Are Why wouldn't you be willing to pay for an app that is gonna help you with your health? So, all right, let's get on to styling products. Well, actually, this is one more leave-in conditioner. This is, I used to love this stuff. I used to use it all the time. Um, the Moroccan oil treatment. Also very expensive. Everything's just like always expensive. I don't understand that. All right, so let's see about the Moroccan oil. 
It has a 22, I was shocked on this one. It has a 22 out of 100 bad rating. Um, and it has an actual red hazardous ingredient on there, which, so silicones protect the hair from humidity and make styling easier, blah, blah, blah. Um, so the type of silicone that's actually in this is toxic for your reproduction. <laughs> and so, um, and it's also really highly concerning for the environment. And so I will no longer ever use this Moroccan oil, but again, a less, Bad one is the Silk Therapy, the Bio Silk at the bottom. It has a 50 out of 100. It's not great. My personal rule of thumb, I try to be 70 or more, but that's me personally. So um, if you love oils in your hair, which I certainly do, I now use my favorite oil is Sweet Almond Oil. That's what I use in my hair, you guys. 100% um, non-toxic and it works excellent like the Moroccan oil and it's like pennies compared to that one. And so, um, yeah, let's move on to styling products. So that's what I have left. I have weighty hair. My girls have curly hair though. I don't style any of their stuff. So I'm gonna, let's do curly hair products first. And I have over-the-counter curly hair products because I never had wavy or curly hair in my life until I had babies. My my hormones changed my hair completely, and um, here I am trying to figure out my curly hair uh, for like the last five years, and I didn't want to spend tons of money on professional products because I was feeling really cheap, and I was staying home with my three kids, and so let's see. These are Not Your Mother's Curl Talk. I have the mousse, and I have the gel. This gel is brand new. I like never used it. I realized really quickly that I don't like gel in my hair, so I kind of just have gel. This is 47 out of 100. It has a poor rating. Um, it has this, it has the, the, the worst ingredient in it is the one that affects your hormones and your fertility. Um, like that's in so much of this stuff. And the mousse, the Curl Talk mousse, uh, this is even worse. It's 27 out of 100. Has poor, same thing. Messes with your hormones. Has carcinogens. Um, I tried this one. This one's probably gonna be horrible because it smells like cake, and it's called cake. Um, it was created in Canada. It says cruelty free and vegan. Anything that has tons of fragrance in it is gonna be no good. So let's see what this mousse is for curly hair. 28 out of 100. Again, and then we have the So Soft Touch Reset Restore Hair Oil. My daughter loves this. She hasn't used it in ages though because she just likes the smell. This one isn't bad. It's 93 out of 100, so I'll, I'll actually keep this. The low risk is the perfume in it, so I'll let my girls use this if they want to. I don't like my hair smelling like cake, and so I don't do that. But um, we have the Aussie Curl Refiner Spray, like little spritz. This is tw uh, 38 out of 100. Again, it just, it just, it's just so much chemicals, words you can't read and whatnot. Let's see. So those are my, oh, this is what I used on my hair today. This is the Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse. Um, in my in in my searching for good products, um, this has been the least toxic one I've been able to find. That's over the counter. Seventy two out of a hundred has a good rating. So looking through these ingredients, the ones that say have low risk because they it's just some people have allergic reactions. It can cause a rash or some itchiness or something. So. Um, if you're looking for something for your curls, Shea Moisture has 72 out of 100. This, and that's my rule of thumb. I try to find something in the 70s or higher to use if I am using an over-the-counter product. All right, so now we're gonna move on to just the, I have like six more. I have Lanza Healing Volume Root Effect. This is a root booster that you're putting on your roots. So the Lanza Volume Root Effects has a zero out of 100. Um, out of the thing and it has that BHT and also has another red and orange 
that BHT was um, a carcinogen, causes cancer, um, messes with your sex hormones and fertility. And then this other one that starts with an E, um, it's an endo, endocrine, it's an endocrine disruptor, um, and it disrupts estrogen in women, and it impairs your thyroid function. So, oh my goodness, um, yeah, so don't use this product, please. <laughs> We have the Not Your Mother's Beach Spray Texturizing. This is an over-the-counter product, not professional. Um, I have like this love-hate relationship with like salt sprays. This one is a 79 out of 100, so that one's not bad. That's good. It's just gonna have things that could potentially you'd have allergic reaction to, like maybe it's itchy. Um, Oh, sorry, this is another curl product. Strictly Curls, um, curl defining lotion. This is an over the counter. Oh, this is horrible. Six out of 100. I'll never use this again. Um, I haven't used it in a really long time. Obviously, I bought it before my, uh, my app. Six out of 100, what does this terrible ingredient do? It's a type of silicone and it is harmful to your reproduction and the environment and again what's so hard is that these products really do work and you love them in your hair and they look great like you love how it makes your hair feel or it's made your hair so much healthier but again like you have to think about what's the trade-off when you can find something else that will do just as good of a job that's just not going to harm your health. All right, this is a dry shampoo. This is the dry shampoo that made all my hair fall out. And so I have other videos here on my channel under my natural remedies playlist. I can link below. Um, there was a recall that I didn't know about on some dry shampoos and it made all my hair fall out and I have grown my hair back naturally. But I make my own dry shampoo for pennies that last months and months and months and months. Um, I can link those videos below. So if you're a dry shampoo lover like I am, watch that video. Um, but let's see. I've been saving this can for you guys because of this video. So let's see. This actually is a 76 out of 100. So it's not that terrible. But you have to be careful. If there's recalls on these products, um, it can make, obviously, it can make your hair fall out. So I'm just looking at some of the low risk ingredients here. Um, it can be bad for your respiratory tract if you spray it a lot and you're breathing it in. Um, it can have adverse effects on your central nervous system um, and things like that because it's aerosol. So again, but there was a recall and when there's a recall, that can happen and your hair can fall out. So be careful with that. And lastly, I don't know if this will register because this is a bulk product, but the Kenrum Platinum, um, this is a hot spray. So you spray this on your hair and it's dry, you curl it, it sets your curls, protects it from the, Ooh, sorry, protects it from the heat. So let's see if this registers. Nope, it doesn't. Um, so can't tell you much about that. But you guys, that's literally every single product that is in my bathroom specifically for hair so i hope you found this helpful please comment below if you did give this video a thumbs up it is just i want to educate you guys to make the best choices you can to simplify your life you don't need a million products to do your hair and i just want to make you and this world a better place so i hope you have a beautiful day and we'll see you in the next video Bye bye